morning, everybody. It's officially Friday, which is awesome because <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> and actually, this is like our second best day today. It's a little chilly this morning, but yesterday um, it rained for a little bit. But other than that, it's been pretty good. All the ice has melted away. Um, the mountain is still gone. It's pretty uh, foggy and cloudy over there. So that's all right. Hopefully uh, it'll warm up here in the next couple days. And I mean, I guess if we really wanted to leave today, we probably could. I just don't know how the roads are down there. There's probably like all kinds of fallen trees and all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> I'm sure there is. Yeah. <laughs> but like, uh, I think I heard you say the ice is all gone. Yeah, it's all gone. Like, Finally, the first day of this whole week, I, well, that's I see a little bit of snow. Yeah, that's snow. <laughs> left over from last week <laughs> yeah but it's all gone which is so nice because like we were saying like i'm getting stir crazy so still got a lot of stuff to do around here like i gotta feed the chickens right now like i do every day mm -hmm. but um yeah we could maybe leave maybe yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe go to the store and go hang out at walmart yeah that would be fun <laughs> <laughs> that's our idea of a good time going to walmart <laughs> no uh yesterday um we had a uh, breakfast for dinner and I made buttermilk biscuits and I'm like actually like I think perfecting my biscuit making because I think those were some of the best looking biscuits I'd ever made. So that was a really good accomplishment yesterday, I think. <laughs> but that was about all the baking I did yesterday. I, I didn't really do a whole lot. I did uh, call my mom up and chit chat with her for a while. <laughs> Every time I call my mom, I know it's going to be at least a two-hour phone conversation, which is fine because I love talking to my mom. And, uh, you know, it's it's good to talk to her because sometimes you get a little stir-crazy, right, like I was. So I just call in to, you know, I guess vent to her and talk to her about it and stuff. So, <laughs> But she could kind of relate because, like I've mentioned, she still lives out in the sticks too, just like uh, we do. She said the weather there, though, hasn't been as bad as it is over here. They haven't gotten, like, hardly any snow or anything. And usually in Oregon, it snows, you know, a little bit, if not more, you know. But I'm glad she's doing well. So that was the main reason why I called her. I see Midnight's back watching the chickens again. Oh. And that's blue over there. She's meowing. They're all, all the cats are following Anthony around waiting for breakfast. But blue, she's the one that has like the like perfectly round head. I call her Miss Piggy now. <laughs> I see her and I go, oh, it's Miss Piggy. Cause she's so round. She's like little butterball. I just think Miss Piggy is appropriate for her. <laughs> we'll call Midnight Kermit or something. Kermit? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I know all the cats are following me around like they always do. Yeah, anytime you go close to the pathway to the deck, they're all, oh, okay, food. Oh, yeah. They let me know. Hey, uh. Yeah, I see your shadow. Hi, Shadow! <laughs> the cats are so crazy. Oh, here. Here's Miss Piggy. Come I here. Know. In blue, she was, uh. <laughs> whose kitten was she? She was, um. Air, uh, Arizona or Air, AZ's. Yeah, AZ's. Air, AZ's kitten. Yeah. And she was really tiny, like she was really tiny. And her name's Blue because when she was born, she had blue eyes. Yeah. And so I said, oh, we should name her Blue. Yeah. Just, we we're trying to pick names. And uh, <clears throat> her eyes aren't blue anymore. No. <laughs> but once she got fixed, she just blew up like a balloon. Yeah, she is really fat. She's smaller size-wise than most of the cats out here, but she weighs like twice as much. Yeah, she's a little, little. She butter. weighs more than Midnight. Yeah, she's a big girl. That's why I call her Miss Piggy. <laughs> And Miss Piggy, <laughs> but she's funny because she plays. She rolls around in the dirt and yeah, that's uh, Sylvia's mom. Yeah, she'll she'll show up randomly, covered in dirt. Yeah, like she'll look brown. Yeah, we're like, dude, you are filthy. Yeah, you're so dirty, <laughs> Miss Piggy. <laughs> yeah, my dad might be coming over this weekend. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, that'd be good. He lives a couple hours away from here, and I uh, haven't seen him in a little bit. Since, uh, when was it? It was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. And so, uh, I wasn't sure if he was coming over because the, uh, the weather was so bad. Yeah. But now that it's, I'm going to call him later and yeah, see. see if he's still coming. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what the weather's like over by where he's at. Yeah. You know. 
And we'll I'm not see. sure what the weather's supposed to be like this weekend. I didn't look. I haven't looked that far. I mean, I've seen it, but I just don't remember. I didn't care. It was like three days from now. I know. <laughs> we just knew this whole week we were going to be, you know, cast away into the house kind of a thing. <laughs> Stranded on a deserted island. Yeah, it's all right. It hasn't been bad. I've been, I've been enjoyed it a lot, quite honestly, guys. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been good. And like you were just looking up some stuff this morning about the ceiling. And I was like, well, I guess it's kind of a good thing we didn't work on it this week. And we can actually like figure out, like as we were working to put some of the planks up just to test. Yeah. So we figured out some problems that we were going to have. And you're coming up with some good solutions to our problem. Right? No, oh, yeah. So I'm kind of glad that we didn't work on it this week because that gave us time to actually figure out what to do. And then when we do start working on it, maybe it won't be so bad and take so long. Yeah, we shall see. I know. <laughs> I think the ceiling is going to take a while to do. Yes, it's going to be a lengthy process. It's probably going to be similar to drywall, you know, but that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, it won't be as bad because there's no, you know, painting and... No, no, no. Not no, no. painting, uh, mudding. No, no mudding. It's just the biggest thing with uh, the tongue and groove on some of these is they're warped, so... Yeah, that's going to be a, a issue. And then there's going to be so many boards that need yeah. to be stained. Oh, it's going to be a stain party. Yeah. So we're going to have to like, we're going to have to stain as many as we can. And then we have to wait 24 hours, right? That's the only thing. Because you don't want, I mean, we can put them up the same day, but they're still kind of wet. Yeah. You know, uh, a couple hours later, it just depends, right? Yeah. We might have to like have a stain day where we just stain a All whole day. bunch of boards, as many as we can get in one day. And then the next day is hanging day. And yeah. we hang up whatever we got. Yeah. And then repeat the process over and over and over. But that's okay. I'm looking forward to it. I might, I'd much rather I work with again. wood <laughs> than drywall and stuff like that. Like, I'm enjoying um, working with wood. Yeah. Like, I told Roxanne, I'd like to kind of hone in on my actual woodworking, like, skills. Yeah. Like, learn how to do, like, cool little projects. And um, I told Anthony, I said, you should learn how to make a rocking chair. Oh, I mean, yeah, that would be really cool. But I know it's a really hard no. thing to learn you, how yeah, to do. Yeah, there's there's people that have been woodworking for 50 years that barely can do that. Hey, you never know. You know, if it's a handmade rocking chair, yeah, yeah. This, it's got to be perfect. I mean, you never know. But anyway, right? <laughs> Jeez, I'll make me a chair. <laughs> but stuff like that, I think it would be really cool, like down the road, how to make really nice tables and um shells and just all this really cool stuff yeah that looks really professional yeah no right? it looks like, nice and look at blue i know and there's a lot i gotta learn and i don't have nearly the amount of tools that i would need for that kind of stuff the different chisels and um hand planers and just different things right yeah yeah different drill bits and different things but slowly yeah yeah those are things you i guess would acquire over time right and then eventually you'll have it all and you can build a rocking chair well yeah <laughs> well i'm thinking of that because there's so much wood out here obviously right yeah no i think it would be really cool there, to there's so much cedar and yeah, pine and you know, you know take take the, yeah take a log and create yeah, something really sorry, cool sorry guys blue's over here just freaking out she's having a blast playing with that acorn <laughs> mm -hmm. and a rock but uh I don't know. My dad was a woodworker forever. He was a, he built houses, right? But yeah. he wasn't like a, a fine arts kind of woodworker. Nothing like that is what I'm getting at. Yeah, he but, built. Yeah. But I think on the other spectrum of that is learning that type of really nice woodworking would be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it would be. And I mean, the things you can make are endless, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can make a lot of different things and and I have cool tools with it now. Yeah, so hopefully... Like my laser engraver. Yeah, laser Like imagine engraver. that. Yeah, you can make really cool stuff with that. I mean... Well, you, on the wood piece that I make, right? Yeah, you got that um, pocket hole. I got the pocket jig, yep. Yeah. That was sent by Outdoor Studios. Thank yeah, you again for that. Yeah, I mean... I've already looked into that and messed with it, and it's really cool. Yeah. Um, so you know. Because, you know, eventually when we're done on the house, we do have, like, furniture and stuff we want to make for the inside of it. Kind of like how we did with Thunderdome. We built like our desks and our entertainment center. So Anthony has some ideas, some things he'd like to make for the house. Yeah. Yep. But we're not there yet. No, no. That's like the decorating stage. I yeah. Guess, that's everything's the, done. Yeah. Those are like the 
finishing touches, you know. I mean, we've mentioned it too before, right? Like, our room, like, it's done, right? The walls are painted, and we obviously still have to put the ceiling on. But it's done, but there's so much more to the room that we want to add, you know. Well, in the whole house itself, right, there's no pictures up. There's no shelvings up. Oh, it's no, funny. There's no nothing, yeah, right? It's somebody, just bare. Yeah, somebody asked us, I guess, I don't know if it was on our Vibe or on our video about our furniture. Where's all our furniture? Oh, yeah, somebody asked, how come we don't have any furniture in our house? Yeah, yeah. Well, our house isn't done. Just a random question, right? It's, yeah. It's a legit question. Yeah, we're not we're not doing any, like, couches or end tables or lamps or mm -mm. pictures up on the walls or nothing until the house is done. Yeah. Then um, we'll pull out all our totes and go yeah. through all of those again, which will be really, really cool. It'll be like trip down memory lane. Um, maybe possibly go through our stuff one more time and get rid of some of the things we may not need that we thought we were going to need out here. You know, I can't, I can't <clears throat> see too much, but I'm sure well, there's that, some things. <clears throat> that one office tote that I have, um, with, like, like with, um, like it has like the Albanian flag in there and oh, okay. like that, yeah. you know, what I'm talking about Yeah. like 90% of that stuff, at least for me is all like sentimental stuff. I think would be really cool. In like 30 years, why it opens it up and like looks at it. Yeah. Well, I'm a lot of our stuff, a lot, even stuff that I have, like I have a whole tote just full of things that I, from my childhood, like toys and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. I mean, those are things obviously we're not going to get rid of, <laughs> but well, I, I'm talking about like kitchen supplies. Oh, no, no. Yeah. yeah stuff might, like that. Yeah. yeah there we'll might be some, more. you know, cords and stuff in your tote that you're just like, I don't need these cords, you know, get rid of them and. I'm sure. We're going to have a lot of totes when we get to that point left. That's right. Figure something out to do them. Oh, they won't go to waste. Have them for, put them, build a shelf we to put them all on. We can every single tote and I'll fill it all full of decorations for the holidays. Fill it all up with canned goods, babe. That's a lot of decorations. <laughs> a lot of totes. Yeah. yeah, right. We ain't doing that. Gotta... Uh, did we ever figure out how many totes we had total? I knew it we was did. 40, it was like 45, 46, something like that. It was a lot. It was a lot. That's okay. But, yeah, it is okay, <laughs> obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, hi, Mora. You're all wet. <sighs> of course she's all wet. She's been hanging out with uh, Luna. Yeah. You're all they wet. They run around in the water. You're all wet. Even though it's freezing outside, Luna, as a husky, she'll find the one little tiny puddle <laughs> of ice, and she'll want to go roll in it. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, two degrees outside. And oh, she's... oh, here comes Jaina. She heard. She heard me talking. Twister. She heard me talking to Mora, so she got all jealous. Oh, you're still talking to anybody but me. I better Twister. come over there. Oh, careful. Yeah. Story of my life with these dogs. Yeah. It's all right. Come on, beat it. Yeah. I don't want you guys to hit this. Yeah. Don't hit the camera. Now they're gonna. Now they're gonna play around here. Yeah. Is what they're gonna do now. Well, Mora's gonna try to play with Jana, and Jana's <laughs> just gonna get nasty. She's she's playing. Oh, she is playing. But she, sometimes when she don't want to play, and the puppies like those young pups, right? Yeah, she's the old crust around yeah, here. She don't want to play. She'll let them know. She's not mean, but no, she just, no. Yeah, she just seen it. And that was A. A. Ron. He's been getting it a lot more on the crows. Well, he's a big boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, there he is. So, well, they're being quiet right now because you just fed them, so they're not like. Oh, they're going to start going right now. Well, know. yeah, and well, now because they're all fat and happy. That's why. But before, if you didn't feed them and we were just standing here, this whole video would be. Arr, arr, oh, yeah. Because they'd be like, where's my food? You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get some more animals around here, guys. I'm excited about the spring, getting some rabbits. Yes, I'm looking forward to spring, too. Whoop. Rabbits and eventually some goats. I know David just got some goats at his place he brought back from Florida. Um, I already told him, I said, hey, man, you got males and females, right? And he's like, yep. I'm like, perfect. Yeah. So maybe not this year, but maybe the next year we'll get goats. Yeah, next year. We got to get some infrastructure built around here for yeah. everything. Fencing and, and pens built and different things you want to do back here. Yeah, we got we got big plans, guys. Big plans for outside. But It's going to be nice when we can park this stuff out i know i've been like we've been talking about that for months now it seems like but we've been really talking about plans for outside like this last week because we've been trapped inside mm -hmm. um i did kind of hammer out some of the details about my garden yeah 
kind of how I want to redo it. And you guys will see all that. Yeah, what I want to do with it. So that was a good. And if uh, if we both agree that it's a good plan of how I want to do it, then I'm going to start planning out what I got to plant and when I need to plant it. Because I know, like, I need to start getting on that, like, here really, really, yeah, really, really soon. soon. You're gonna, well, last year you started your seeds way late. I did. Mm -hmm. Like, way late. So yeah. you can, since we got the space, you can start, I say you start them inside the house. Yeah, I was, it's funny because I was actually going to ask you this morning if you know where my little seed starter greenhouse boxes things are at. No, we can get some new ones, though, if you need them. They're not that expensive. I know. I don't know where they're at. They're in a tote. Yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> Probably on the bottom in the uh, the tent somewhere. But no, but you should start them in the house probably. It says February 1st. I forget which ones. I looked it up, but I have, I figured out like when the last frost date is for Arkansas for us, which is April 11th. Well, yeah. And last year, I don't think you started the seeds until like late March. No, I didn't. That's what I'm saying. So this year. No, I yeah, that's what I'm getting yeah, at, yeah. right? Like I want to get start them in the house. I want to start it right because last year I was a little bit late, so I did lose I think some things just because I started it too late. Yeah, they didn't have time to take root and. Yeah, you know, and there's certain things that grow better in the you know when it's colder out than they do when it's warmer out. And you guys well, know. like I said, we got these fold tables. Um, you can start them in the house. Yeah. We could take Thunderdome shelf if you wanted and use that. Yeah, put it in the window. You get what I'm saying, right? We yeah. can do that. Start in the house, and even if they're big, like, man, these things are huge. I got to get them out of here kind of a thing. It'll be time, you know, to plant them at that yeah, time. Yeah, so. hopefully the, gar or the weather gets a little bit warmer here, like 60. <laughs> it will. It will. It'll start warming up here again. But, uh. I can go out there because there's some things I need to do to the garden beds too still. Like I should run my tiller through them again. Yeah. And you brought the chickens um, coop clean out stuff and put it over there. I need to like spread that out. I need to add some fertilizer. Man, that chicken, the chicken stuff that I cleaned the coop out of, um, that was like the best looking dirt. Yeah. And it was insane. It, yeah. He put it, I told him to put it in one of my garden beds. So he dumped it in there. So I just, I need to. I need to like spread it and yeah. Well, you turn should, it you into need, the well. Dirt. You need to you need to put it in most of the garden beds. Yeah. In my opinion, you need to um, and then, take shovels of it and yeah. Some of you subscribers. But I have another. I have another whole wheelbarrow full of it. Yeah. Gotta wait for it to. Defrost, yeah, it's all but, frozen. But um, <clears throat> some of you subscribers sent me some uh, um, fertilizer and stuff like that. So I need to. We're gonna be using that this year too. Yeah, I need to get that out and put that inside the beds and get that turned into the dirt. That way, when I'm ready to plant, everything's ready to go. So that's my plan. Yeah. Slowly but surely, I told Roxanne. You know, I know we're working on the house a bunch and everything, but she needs to take like two or three days a week or two days a week, and instead of working on the house, focus on just working on the garden. Yeah. Getting that stuff all day done and different things because we have to plan that stuff. It has to be done. You can't put it off again. No, and you know that's kind of why I did like the other day. I, I mean, we're not doing much outside, so I was like, well, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna put my plan on paper as far as what I want for the garden area, which I did that. And then now I know that you're okay with how it's gonna look, right? Cause yeah. We gotta agree on it. Um, I can start planning out when I'm gonna plant where, and then figure out when I need to plant that stuff. Cause well, the nice thing about those fence posts too, with that auger we have, I can auger some holes down, and we can just lay the posts in there and take it back and look. Yeah. Before it's permanent. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, let's move this over here, whatever. So. Yeah, that's coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. But we got some more stuff to do today, guys. We got some cleaning to do around here. I'm going to get on in some things. Yeah, I'm going to do some laundry today. And I've already been kind of tackling the house a little bit. I mean, the house isn't that bad no. at all. I've been. And we got homemade calzones tonight that we're going to make. Yes, that's our pizza night tonight is homemade, homemade cal calzones. Homemade yeah, calzones. Mm -mm -mm. I got to get that I'm going excited. too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good dinner tonight. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you guys have a great and wonderful weekend. Yes. Thank you for watching this video today, guys. We really appreciate you guys. Great vibes sending your way. Yes, and like you mentioned, have a great, awesome weekend. Hopefully it warms up and people can come out of their house a little bit if you're stuck inside like us. Mm -hmm. Stay motivated, guys. Yes. Stay motivated. Have a great weekend, and we will catch you all on Monday. Bye. Bye.